A leaked email from Victoria Police has revealed a stern warning to officers not to help drunk Victorians get home safely. State political reporter Chanel Vella has the exclusive details. And Chanel, officers are being told to leave intoxicated people where they are, even in dangerous situations. Mitch, it comes after public drunkenness laws were relaxed in November last year. This goes against all of their instincts, but they are being reminded to leave people where they are or risk being sued. Months after public drunkenness was decriminalised, well-meaning officers are still driving intoxicated people home. Victoria Police, they're there to protect people and they want to help the most vulnerable. That's prompted an email from Force Command, reminding members when they can and can't help. The letter lays out clearly that police should not intervene, even if a person is in close proximity to a busy highway, found drunk and asleep on the footpath, is witnessed falling over drunk in in front of members or is leaving an event drunk and is unable to get a cab. My question to Jacinta Allen is, are you going to pay for when they get sued for leaving someone beside a highway who walks on and is killed? It is time the government put common sense in place. Since November 7, drunk Victorians have been picked up by health vans and taken to a sobering up centre. The state government says people who are intoxicated often need no help at all. Sobering centres are a place of last resort. Most people will be supported to travel home. We still maintain we have concerns about this legislation and the impact on our members. Um, those concerns haven't been addressed and remains. I beg you, please be careful. Don't get yourself in a position you can be sued. This government has set you up to fail. It's time we revisit this legislation. The email goes on to explain situations that would allow transport, which include if a person has been exposed to hot weather for a prolonged period or if they're at risk of hypothermia from sitting in the snow. It's intended to keep them as safe as they can from a litigation point of view and from a best practice point of view, despite those concerns remaining live. Chanel Vella, 7 News.